Well, it's a compelling report released a short time ago here at City Hall. And for the first time, we're seeing in detail what went wrong. The report is revealing. It goes back to March 26 when the fire broke out in an apartment building on Dahlgren Street. Diagrams show the minute by minute where FAO Daryl Gordon was that morning. At 610, Gordon and his team of four met with another crew of firefighters in the stairwell. The others were coming down with a baby and an adult. That ramped up the urgency and the concerns that more people may need to be rescued. As Gordon's team entered the fifth floor, they split up checking doors. One member found the door leading to the elevator shaft. Not like you would think of an elevator door. This was more like a utility closet. It was marked, do not enter by the crew. The door was supposed to be locked, but it opened easily. The report says something was wrong with the locking device. When the elevator is on another floor, the door should not open, but it did. The team even tried to transmit a warning on the radio, but there was so much radio traffic they couldn't get the message out. Gordon was not with the team members who marked the door, so he was unaware. In the dark, in the smoke, investigators think he didn't see the warning until he opened the door and stepped in. He fell 22 to 23 feet into an elevator shaft head first. He was wearing 70 to 80 pounds of gear and died instantly. For for most firefighters, myself included, this was um, the worst day of their career, worst day of their career in the Cincinnati Fire Department. And to have to relive that um, is um, a very difficult situation. Now, here's how fast all this unfolded. Uh, Daryl Gordon's crew met the other crew. They know at 610 and at 612 he fell into that elevator shaft. So all of this happened in just two minutes. Reporting live, Brian Hemrick, WLWT News 5.